What's cracking with your snacking snacker stars? It is me, 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 the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you with another edition of OTR. Ladies and gentlemen, is October chicken month? It must be, because in week one, we had McDonald's chicken tenders. In week two, we had Wendy's chicken tenders. And here in week three, we've got not tenders, but a new type of nugget from Burger King. Find out what type it is and what it tastes like and more right after this on this week's edition of OTR. Believe it or not, you are looking live at Burger King on Columbia Pike. It's the one with the play place in it. Across the street from an automotive repair shop and, of course, Sophia's Pupuseria and a 7-Eleven on Columbia Pike, which is a fairly busy uh, thoroughfare here in Arlington, Virginia. Today I am here to try out Burger King's newest rendition of the Crispy Golden Nugget. Now you will notice that a lot of times they don't use the word chicken in their advertising for nuggets, and that kind of scares me. But for $1.49, you can get 10 of these crispy nuggets. They are spicy nuggets now, as you can see by the fact that they are slightly red in hue, or at least more red than the original nuggets were. They're $1.49 for 10, not very large, as you can see, not much bigger or actually smaller than their sauce uh, packets. I got ranch there, and I'll tell you about more about that in a moment. But anyway, yeah, $1.49 gets you these nuggets, 10 of those, and that's a good price. But are they chicken, and are they good? We'll find out right after this on OTR. All right, gang, back here on OTR to check out the brand new $1.49 spicy nuggets from Burger King. And ladies and gentlemen, like I was saying, these are not very large. And yes, I am a little bit trepidatious at the fact that they don't call them chicken a lot in their advertising because that just makes me say, hmm, you know, like Arsenio used to say, things that make you go, hmm, hmm. Anyhow, yeah, showing it to you next to my noggin the way I always do, and they're just plain out tiny. They smell vaguely chickeny, but they don't smell spicy. They've got a little bit of fleckage on there, here and there, uh, and... Some odd little white spot. I don't know if that's a mole or what that is. I'm not really sure, guys. But I'm here to investigate for you, so let's find out, shall we? Got a little bit of ranch here for you to try this out. Not like I had a whole lot of choice in the matter. But let me go ahead and pull that open for you. Nice and creamy white junk there. Take a dip. Take another bite. Three, two, one. Vaguely crunchy on the outside, soft, mushy, and watery on the inside. Uh, the spiciness takes a while to kick in. At first, it sort of comes across as a dirtiness, maybe, or maybe a little bit of a burnt flavor, but it then becomes a little bit spicy in that cayenne pepper kind of way, which is just spicy enough to be called spicy. And if you ate all 10 of them at once, you might get a little bit of a zap on the tongue. But other than that, it's not going to bother you very, very much. With that said, I don't hate these. They're actually not bad. And for $1.49 for 10 of them, uh, I would eat them again. Sure, absolutely. Why not? Um, the chicken flavor on the inside isn't all that potent. Just uh, vaguely uh, poultry flavored, so to speak, on there. But uh, the real flavor comes in in that late stages of the cayenne pepper so it's okay it's not bad the ranch sauce helps calm that uh cayenne flavor down a little bit and actually the mix of the two is pretty good uh but that said they don't have a lot of sauce flavors maybe they should have introduced a new sauce for this particular uh product but they didn't um i'm gonna go ahead and give this particular product a five eighths of a thumbs up it's okay uh and I would buy it again for the price, but, you know, if it were you know, more expensive, I probably would never buy it again. Um, in terms of the sauce, like I was saying before, when they gave me my my uh, bag here, they didn't ask me if I wanted any sauce or anything. And I've gone over this many, many times. The fast food service in the Washington, D.C. area is generally worse than in a lot of other areas because people can usually ask fast food 
employees for something customized or something like that without getting a lot of attitude or uh, misunderstanding or something like that. And that just doesn't happen here, you know, for the most part, unless you catch somebody who's particularly dedicated to their job. For example, in here, when they gave me the bag without any sauce, I said, uh, what kind of sauce do you have? I says to the lady, and she looks at me, just grabs two random cups underneath the counter and hands them to me, and they're zesty sauce. You know, the stuff that they use on the onion rings in there, right? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to know what kind of sauces you had so I can choose among them. The employee next to her goes, ranch, barbecue, honey, mustard, and sweet and sour. And I was like, okay, fine, let me get a ranch and a sweet and sour. And the same lady who handed me the zesty sauce literally just hand, reaches her hand underneath and throws two ranches up on the counter. And I said, okay, great, I guess that's close enough, thanks. But that's just the way things go around here, man. You can't expect any kind of service. I guess if you only spend $1.49 for your lunch, you shouldn't get any? I don't know. What do you think, guys? How is the fast food service in your area? Could it improve? I'm sure it could, but is it as bad as it is around here? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, while you're down there, make sure you join the SAS group on Facebook by clicking on the link in the description down below. Hundreds and hundreds of the coolest people in the world are in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Brandon Reich SAS. When you do that, make sure you use the hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way, I know what you're eating, and you know what I'm eating too. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.